If you're asking what the meaning of a short sale is, you've come to the right place. The answer may not be what you expect, but let's get down to it right now. Hi, I'm Don Thornton. I'm known as the short sale guy because I've been working in short sales since 2003. Last time I checked, I, I've helped well over 2,500 homeowners in that period of time. So I doubt you're going to find anybody with more experience than me. So in this day's video, I want to talk to you about what a short sale, what the short sale meaning is, what are the pros and cons of a short sale, and why it's so important to look for the most experienced company possible if you're looking at doing a short sale for yourself as a homeowner, or if you're looking to work with someone as, as a referral partner when you have when you find short sales if you're a realtor or or a uh, investor so uh, let's get down to it right now so uh, what is the meaning of a short sale well it's very it's very uh, simple uh, when a homeowner owes more than what the property is worth then the only way they can sell it is if the bank agrees to take a short payoff that's why they call it a short sale so for example if you owed uh, three hundred thousand dollars on your mortgage but the house was only realistically worth maybe 250 or 230, then you would be known as, you know, 50 to 75,000, $70,000 upside down. And it's also known as underwater or that you have negative equity. It, there's different jargon about it. But the bottom line is, is that if you were to put the property out there as a, um, you know, with a full payoff of your mortgage, then somebody would have to pay 40, $80,000 higher than what the property is worth that you know it's not going to happen so before banks instituted short sales that was the reality of the situation a homeowner was just basically condemned to having a, a foreclosure auction on their record because they would not be able to sell it with a full payoff so i don't know about 30 years or so ago i don't know the exact year but the banks decided that they were going to uh, basically come up with a strategy to allow a homeowner like yourself if you're in a situation to um, sell their property for less than what the house is worth so that is really what a short sale is now it's not easy of course and this is where people fall in the trap of thinking that a short sale is is easy or it's way too hard it's actually somewhere in the middle but for a homeowner um you know the most the thing you have to understand uh before you do anything is that a short sale is not something to be afraid of i would say that uh, and i'll i'll get into this later in, in the video but um, you need to be more afraid about who you work with. <laughs> but uh, if someone knows how to do short sales and do it well, then a, home, a, a short sale is very, very good for your, um, uh, for your situation to help you get out from under a property that you just can't afford anymore and you have to sell it and you're facing a foreclosure auction. So again, short sale, when the bank will allow you to sell the property for less than what it's worth and any money left over will be forgiven and written off and you are out from under a bad situation, okay? So uh, what I wanna do is, uh, if you go over here on the corner, you're gonna see a red button. That's where you can subscribe. I do these videos almost, I do this almost every day. Uh, I have a lot of knowledge built up over almost 20 years and I'm sharing it out now. I'm like a oil gusher. I'm just gushing knowledge and, and value for people that come to my uh, site and or to my YouTube channel and watch my videos. So please subscribe down here where that red button is. And I would love to be able to uh, have you get notifications and, and alerts when I drop a new video. So now the second second thing we're going to talk about today is what is um, what are the pros and cons of a short sale? Uh, it's really hard for me to go into this, uh, you know, given a serious effort for a pro and con, because I don't think there's any cons to a short sale. But let's go through them, because uh, I know there's a lot of <clears throat> faux cons out there, you know, people that have misperceptions about things. But um, the, the pro of a short sale, let's talk, let's go line by line. Number one, it gets you out from under a property you can't afford. And um, <clears throat> number two, it, it does the least damage to your credit, okay? Now, this is something that you can really focus on because there are generally three things that you can do for um, uh, when you're in, a, in your situation right now. You can either do a short sale, you can do a deed in lieu of foreclosure, or you can let the property go back to foreclosure auction. Now, just look at credit right now, okay? Your goal is you want to be able to mitigate or minimize the, the loss or the damage to your credit so that way you can qualify for a new mortgage, a new conventional mortgage uh, in as, as soon as possible. Now, conventional mortgage means like a 30-year mortgage. You get the lowest interest rate possible. It's for people that have good credit. And um, 
if you have a, if you do a short sale, you are able to qualify for a mortgage uh, in two years. That's it, two years. Now let's look at Dean Lou of foreclosure or let it go to foreclosure auction. You're talking about seven years minimum. And here's the thing that people don't seem to understand is that let's say if you do a deed in lieu of foreclosure and you sign the, the papers, the bank becomes the owner, they cancel the foreclosure. You think that's the best thing you can do, but actually, uh, and you also probably think that your mortgage is closed off, but it's not. Um, it's not until the bank sells that house that uh, the mortgage is closed down on your credit report. So the seven years that it takes for you to be able to qualify for a, a, a conventional or a conforming mortgage, that only starts to tick when the bank sells the property. So what happens if it takes the bank a year to sell it? And sometimes what the banks will do, they'll put up at a really high price and just wait. And it could be, you know, it could be six months, could be eight months, could be a year. I've seen people who have, it's, they, they did a deed in lieu four years ago and they're still waiting for the property to close. So you don't want that. And that's the one of the biggest advantages of doing a short sale as opposed to doing a deed in lieu of foreclosure or a foreclosure auction is that when the bank gets it back and when 95% of the time they get the property back, then they're going to throw it out there and they're not, they're, they're not going to get any hurry to sell the property. They want to try to get as high as they can. So that's not in your interest. It's in their interest. Okay. Number two is the big, another, another pro to a short sale is that all your costs are paid. So the bank will pay all your, your commissions, the closing costs. There's nothing out of pocket for you. Whereas, you know, uh, obviously you don't pay anything for a foreclosure auction or Dean Lou either, but there's a negative uh, connotation to your credit and, and the fact that it's going to be looked upon as a foreclosure. So that's not good. The other thing is, is that uh, if you're listed on the property, uh, then you will probably get a, some kind of relocation amount that can vary anywhere between three to 5,000. So what's we've been, we've been seeing the last uh, you know year or so, but at least you get some kind of relocation incentive. Uh, now you can get that for um, a deed in lieu, but again, it's like uh, if each one of them, you get a relocation money, but this one kills your credit and this one doesn't, then you want to try to go with the one that doesn't kill your credit, right? So uh, that's just a real brief overview of the pros and cons of a short sale. So let's just, just summarize this. Um, all costs are paid by the bank. It's far by far the least damage to your credit. I, I, I can't tell you exactly how many points you get dinged on, but it's a lot less than what you do for a foreclosure auction or dealing with foreclosure. And you can bounce back in a couple of years and it goes in your credit report is paid settled or paid uh, short sale. It does not show up as a foreclosure. And listen, a deed in lieu of foreclosure on your credit report is considered a foreclosure, just so you know. Okay. Now, um, I'm just curious uh, in, in the comments below, leave me a comment if you if you uh, if, if I said anything here that you didn't know about, or if maybe you had a different opinion or someone had told you something differently. I would love I love to get feedback from my uh, viewers and uh, I would love to have you I love to engage with you. So basically, you know, in the comments below, go ahead and let me know what you think about this. That would be awesome. Uh, when you are thinking about a short sale or about doing a short sale, let's say if you're a homeowner first. And you're saying, okay, I'm upside down on my property and I do need to sell. I don't want to, I'm facing foreclosure or maybe you're not, but you still need to sell anyway. Then you're going to want to uh, work with someone. It's so important in this situation that you work, choose a company that has done this for at least 15 years. And I'm, I'm not trying to overemphasize this or exaggerate its importance. And the reason why is, look, Here's a dirty, dark secret about short sales. Realtors will only do them if the, if the economic conditions force them to. And I find this so fascinating because when I started doing this in 2002 and 2003, we had an extremely hot real estate market. It was very similar to what's going, been going on in the last few years here in the country, especially in Florida, where I'm from. And you could not get any realtors to touch a short sale. They didn't want anything to do with it. It was like they were radioactive. They, didn't, they don't like them. This is a deep, dark secret. No matter what they tell you, you can talk to listing agents and they'll tell you, oh, I'm a short sale expert. Oh, I love short sales. No, short sales are in my blood. Uh, look, at, look at how many short sales they've done in the last couple of years and see how, see how much it's in their blood, okay? They only do them if they're forced to. If the market dictates that for them to get commissions, they have to do short sales, they will hold their nose and they will do them, but they don't specialize in them and they don't like them. And that will negatively affect you because here's the thing. Uh, in theory, a short sale should be a very cut and dry process, right? You get, uh, you list a property, 
the bank wants you to the wants your realtor to market it. You have different offers come in. Uh, the realtor uh, uh, has you take the, the highest offer. The bank appraises it and they come back and, and you try to find a middle ground between the bank and the buyer. And sometimes, most of the time, the bank will come in higher. And then if a realtor doesn't know what he or she's doing, then you're stuck with a high value and the property will sit. That's generally what happens, okay? The key to a short sale is being able to win what they call the value dispute. That's when the bank will always come in high. Because remember, those appraisals, appraisers and realtors they hire to do uh, what they call a broker's price opinion, they will. They know that if they come in low, they're not going to get any more uh, business from the bank. They'll go with the ones that can go higher. So there's no written condition that says you got to come in high on your value, but it's an understood thing that if you don't come in high, you won't get as much business from them. And that means you don't get as much money. So they there is an incentive, unwritten incentive by appraisers and uh, realtors to come in high as possible. So you're going to have a higher offer come in always. The key is to get the value down, even below market value, because you want to be able to get the cash buyers into this because it's harder to get, you know, you, what you don't want to do is finally, you work so hard to get this uh, short sale finished. And then you get someone with financing to come in and try to buy it and their financing falls apart. And then by that time, your value discount is gone. It just, it's just a whole thing. So what I'm trying to say is um, we've been doing this for almost 20 years. Like I said, we've helped well over 2,500 um, uh, homeowners in our period of time. We know how to do this. We specialize in this. We are nuts about short sales. Okay, I feel like the guy, the crazy Eddie guy, you know, selling appliances. But that's the way. That's how we feel. That's how passionate we are about short sales. So I would urge you not to work with uh, realtors like that or other companies that don't have our track record. We've had almost 19 years. A plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. And you're not going to find anyone else in the country, anywhere else in the country that does as good as we do. And so what I want you to do is if you're looking for a homeowner, if you're looking for a short sale as a homeowner, go down to the description of this video and you'll see a link for homeowners. It's called donbuyshouses.now.site. Go down there and visit my site, leave me a message and I will contact you and we can talk about how to do this. Now, as far as if you are a real estate agent or if you are a mortgage, or excuse me, you're a, a real estate investor or wholesaler and you come upon a homeowner in a similar situation that needs a short sale, they're upside down their mortgage. Why bother to do it yourself? Just work with us, just refer it out to us and we'll make sure that you get paid and we'll do all the heavy lifting for you. What could be better than that? Just refer it to us. We sign an agreement that we can work together. And at closing, um, I'll make sure you guys get paid and you'll you'll really enjoy it. And then you can focus on what your highest and best use is, which is getting more houses and getting filling up your pipeline and not getting down and dirty with the bank and trying to just you know kill yourself with the bank. That's our job. We love we're masochists. We love to get killed by the bank because we win because we punch back. So that's what I would say to you. So if you're an investor or a realtor, go also go down to the description of my video and you'll see um, you know link there where we can you'll get more information about what we do and you know reach out to me and we can set up a time we can talk and i go over what's going on and how we work together and it'll be the best decision you ever made so i want to thank you again for watching my video and i will see you in the next one thanks